Welcome back, you guys. Your boy Ron. We are back with another Joseph Bizarre Adventures, Stardust Crusaders, episode five. Yeah, that's five. Um, yesterday we are not in Egypt. We are in what was it, Tokyo, Japan? Where's some? Yeah, I think it's either Tokyo or Japan. I believe it's Tokyo, but yeah. Uh and you know we're on our pilgrimage to Egypt. As y'all seen last episode, the plane crashed, so we had to obviously take a detour, right? And we're at the dinner table now. And this this guy with a high top fade mullet walked by and we blatantly let him at the table. You know, at first I said, you know what, there's no way this could be uh this is no way to be the guy. Like nobody could be so bold. And there's no way we just let the, the guy with the stand just walk in and, you know, eat dinner with us. Ah, it turned out that the obvious shit is always is always the answer. And he, ah, God. So he's one of Dio's people or whatever. And now we got to fight him. So we end off the episode with uh, Avdol versus, um, I don't know if he said his name, maybe. Or, well, I guess the name escapes me. So I'm just going to say... Uh, Silver Chariot versus Magician's Red. That's that's what we're going to go with, and that's probably the title of this video. So we're just going to go with that, and it's going to get right into it. If you guys enjoyed this reaction today, please like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my socials, so join my Discord, and turn on post notification bell. Let's go. Mm. Tell him, Abdo. Tell him, Abdo. Mm, tell him. Ah, so we didn't we didn't get his name. All right, so Polnareff. Mmm. Listen, man, somebody gotta have an ego. Why not me? Mmm. He's gonna stab through all the coins. Of course, of course. You think you think you think that was something cute? Wow. So that that ba that basically means Polnareff and Avdol they're natural enemies, right? I felt that. I felt that. I understand that. Oh, oh you want to you want to show me at my best. That might be that might be a big mistake, Polnareff. Big mistake. Nanja <laughs> Tiger Bomb Garden. Oh, so they're in Hong Kong. Okay. Okay, you heard Abdo. He like, yo, I've been I've been doing this three years longer than you, Jojo. Damn, not destroying everything around you. That was fire. Okay, you not you not so bad after all. You be like, yo, you asked for this, bro. That. Ooh. 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 Nah. That's a bluff. That's a bluff. That's a bluff. Because if he can control all fire, then he should not be touched by his fire. That's a bluff. He's bluffing. He's bluffing. No, you're lying. That's Cap. See that? Uh, didn't I tell you it was a bluff? Yeah, he, he wanted you to think that. A duplicate? I didn't see that coming. I didn't see that coming at all. Mmm. He like, yo, I'm gonna give it to you again. Fuck is you talking about? Yeah. Yeah. My boy. 
Damn, Paul Nerf, you fucking stink. Matter of fact, nah, you suck dick. Like, let's leave this fool. What the fuck? Excuse me? Okay. Alright. Shit. I guess I guess we here for another another couple of minutes. Protective armor. Okay, I mean that's fair. That's self explanatory. How? I mean I I would assume that taking his armor off made him faster, right? One one would assume. Yep. Exactly. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mmm. Get them all. Get them all. Mmm. Get them all. Get them all. Get them all. You're not, you're not that bad, Gene. Why can't you just attack Polnareff? Wouldn't, wouldn't the battle be over after that? Oh, he caught him. Damn, he finally got touched. I don't like that. Okay, he explaining his power too? All right. Special. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> mm. Fuck is you talking about? Yeah, that's what we like. That man sent that shit underground. I'm dead. I'm dead. Hilarious. Wow, what a what a man. He like, yo, I don't even have the heart to kill you, King. Do it. Why would you do that? Oh. Okay. I guess I guess he is a really good guy then. I really find it funny how y'all making y'all making Jojo the uh the the mind control freer. Like you think he wanna be stabbed by this fucking tentacle shit every time? Mm. I'm like, that was eerie. Two right hands? You know, how would that even work? Two right hands. Two right hands is crazy, isn't it? Oh, God. He got a backstory with this two right hand shit. Okay. And he's strangling her with two right hands. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Tell him. Goddamn right. Righteous vengeance. And then you got mind controls. Okay. Right. Oh, wow. Why the bird look like the old lady? Like, 
listen, you have been denied the sun's embrace because you put yourself in that position. Nobody else did. Damn, imagine him just standing there and taking it and not running away. That's not crazy. Five, five people is not bad. Let's go. Come, come on there, man. Come on. Damn. After he just said move. That's crazy. I, I leave his ass right there. Yaddy, yaddy. Ah, I knew he was going to say it. I knew he was going to say it. That episode was fine. Uh, I thought the... Uh, to be honest, I thought the fight was going to be more dramatic than that. But, you know, I... I like how the fight went, I, and I, to me, I always like. I'm not even gonna say I always like. I like the way they was explaining their moves before they did them. Like, don't you want to know how I dodged your attack? Yes, of course, of course we want to know. Like, <laughs> like let me let me tell you about this move before it kills you. I'm only telling you about this move because I know you can't dodge it. So I'm gonna tell you about it anyway. That shit is so funny to me. Like, but you know what it is? With at the beginning of the episode, we were four people in. Now we five people deep. And we, we certainly can't complain about that. You know what I mean? So, listen, man. Polnareff, welcome to the squad. We have snacks. We have fun. All right? If you guys enjoyed the reaction today, please like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on my socials. Join my Discord. And turn on the post notification bell. I will see you guys next episode.